it can be demonstrated that mean value of a sine square or a cosine square is one half so that the average energy density of the electric field is half of its maximum value i.e. ue its average value is equal to one fourth epsilon zero e zero square similarly the average energy density of the magnetic field is one fourth p zero square on mi zero the mean energy densities are proportional to the square of the amplitudes e zero and b zero the greater the amplitudes, the more concentrated the electromagnetic energy into space. In particular, if the electric and magnetic amplitudes double their values, the average energy densities become four times greater. The average energy density U released by the electromagnetic radiation can be calculated by summing the electric and the magnetic average energy densities u equal to ue plus ub equal to one fourth epsilon zero e zero square plus one fourth b zero square divided by mi zero or by simply doubling one of them u equal to two ue equal to one half epsilon zero e zero square or u equal to two ub equal to one half b zero square on mi zero eventually the static electromagnetic field which we have the perception the radiation is constituted of shows us its so-called effective value for the electric field and the effective value for the magnetic field E effective equal to E0 on square root of 2 B effective equal to B0 on square root of 2